Let's get started making baked beans in the crock pot. It's an easy recipe. Hello everyone and welcome to Bistro Buzz TV and today we're going to be making baked beans in the crock pot and I'm just going to show you real quickly all of the different ingredients that I use. You may switch yours up, you may add a little bit more of something else, but this is what I do and just wanted to share it with everyone. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the Bush's brown sugar hickory. We know that Bush's has a lot of different flavors, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brown sugar hickory and in the crock pot, I add honey. And this is the fresh market clover honey. This is really, really good if you're trying to find a really good brand of honey. I also add celery that we've already got cut up. There are two hot dogs that I'm going to be adding as well. I add a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of molasses, a little bit of light brown sugar, mustard, cinnamon sugar, ground cinnamon, also a little bit of the Sweet Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce, applewood bacon, and then green pepper, yellow pepper, and the orange pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. What I do first is I open up the can of brown sugar hickory beans. I place those into the crock pot, and then I slowly add each of these different ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and go through each of the different ingredients that I've added so far. Let's look right here. This is where I've added the beans and these ingredients that I'm gonna go through real quickly to the crock pot. I have not turned the crock pot on at all right now. I'm just gonna share with you what I've added at this point. One can of the Bush's Best Brown Sugar Hickory Beans. This is the 28 ounce can. If you've got a smaller crowd that you're cooking for, you can use the smaller cans. That would be fine too. You'll just have to, you'll have to mix the ingredients a little bit different, a little bit less than what we're going to be adding here. But for right here, we're going to be adding the 28 ounce can of the brown sugar hickory beans. The next item that I added is the fresh market clover honey, one teaspoon of the honey. Then I added the French's yellow mustard, one teaspoon of mustard, one teaspoon of the Heinz tomato ketchup, and you can use any brand that you want to use of these different products. It's just that these are the brands that I normally use, so this is the brands I have in my kitchen. So one teaspoon. You'll next want to add some cinnamon sugar, and I just add a half of teaspoon of cinnamon sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of the Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce, and then one teaspoon of the Grandma's molasses. That's what I've added so far to the crock pot. And what I'm gonna add now is the celery. This is about five stalks of celery. Then I'm gonna add the peppers. This is one green pepper, one yellow pepper, one orange pepper. I'm going to add one teaspoon of light brown sugar. I'm going to add three pieces of applewood bacon, and I'm going to add one hot dog. So we're gonna cook the hot dogs, we're gonna cook the bacon. We're gonna add those to the crock pot. I'll get that started, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the beans. I'm gonna place the crock pot on low heat right now. So let's get started. So now I'm cooking the bacon to go into the baked beans. And what I use is the Power Air Fryer Oven 360. I love this. I have, I can't tell you the last time I used my oven in the kitchen. I use the Oven 360 for everything. And what I've done is I've added the bacon on a piece of tin foil on the pan that comes with the Oven 360. And then I select bake on the control panel, 350 for 15 minutes. 
I tell you, I love the Power Air Fryer Oven 360. This is the greatest thing ever I've added to my kitchen. I just love it. Like I said, I don't know the last time I turned on the oven in the kitchen. So what I'm doing is cooking the bacon, and then next we will add this to the crock pot with the baked beans and the other ingredients that I've already shared. And then we will cook the hot dogs the same in the oven 360. So let's give this a little bit of time and we will be back. The bacon is cooked and you can see it is a little bit more crispy than what you may like it, but please go ahead and cook that to your liking. What I do is I cook it a little bit more crispy so that when I break it into smaller pieces, put it into the crock pot with the baked beans, that it does have the crispiness like the celery does. So I like just a little bit more crispy, but like I said, if you like it a little bit less done and not as crispy, that is good. So just cook that to your liking. So what I'm gonna do now is take the bacon, break it into smaller pieces and place it into the crock pot. I'm gonna share a little tip that I do with the bacon. So when I finish cooking the bacon and then we've got it on the pan on the tin foil, like I showed you earlier, I take each piece of bacon individually over the crock pot and I break it into the individual pieces. You can see here the little pieces that I broke it into. Now any grease that is on the bacon, it does go into the baked beans, but don't worry about it being a lot of grease because it's not, it may be one or two drops. So that just adds a little bit of extra flavor. So just wanted to share that tip with you. So the next step now is I'm gonna cook the hot dogs and I'm going to cut the hot dogs into little pieces as well. Drop those into the baked beans and then we will have all the ingredients into the baked beans and we'll just let it simmer and cook in the crock pot. So let's get started cooking the hot dogs. Okay, here are the finished baked beans. We added the hot dogs, we've got the peppers and and the other ingredients added. They've been simmering on low in the crock pot for about four hours. So now it's time to serve the dinner. So everyone, if, please like and subscribe. And if you try this recipe or add anything or delete anything, just leave a comment and let us know. Please like and subscribe and come back to visit us again soon. Thank you.